Hey, 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 all you beautiful folks out there. Got a couple minutes left on my lunch break and just wanted to share some really awesome stuff that I heard on uh, my lunch break. And today, uh, listening to Abraham Hicks, ironic, right? Uh, so much growth, so much opportunity, so much life in looking up Abraham Hicks and listening. Um, came across this random video, right? Because it's totally random, like totally not intentionally placed in my path for me to hear. And this young lady, she was talking about this relationship that she had had and why she couldn't move on. You know, she said, I try so hard to stop thinking about him. And and then I find myself an hour later and I've already replayed in my mind full years of this connection. Of course, Abraham Hicks is so good about um, encouraging us to be gentle with ourselves. So, of course, there was lots of compassion, lots of mercy, um, lots of just kindness and love in listening to her talk about this relationship. And basically, it was shared that um, there's nothing wrong with you. It's not like you have some mental disorder because you can't stop thinking about your ex. Now, that is good news, right? Because if you're out there and you've ever had a relationship, whether it was good or not so good, you have thoughts about them. And the ones where we really experienced a deep uh, amazing love. Hi, how are you? The ones where we experienced a, a real deep um, core love for the person, those are sometimes the most difficult to move past and to get over, right? And so Abraham Hicks was just sharing, you know, um, get gentle with yourself. And I want to share this with you too. Get gentle with yourself. Instead of saying, you know, I don't want to think about this person, so I'm going to stop thinking about them because I, I don't want to have these thoughts about them. And then now all of a sudden, an hour later, all I can think about is them get gentle with yourself. Really get really basic. You know, for example, it's an amazing, beautiful day. Thought about my ex. I feel really powerful in this attitude, in this, in this outfit, in, in uh, this hairstyle, in, in this skin. I feel powerful today. Thought about my ex. So I might chase that little path real quick. What do I think about my ex? Well, we really had some good times. Jennifer, it's a beautiful day. You've got a lot going on right now. You got a lot planned for your night. Uh, you're at work. You have uh, some beautiful members to talk with for the rest of the day. Thought about my ex. You know, basically, instead of trying not to think about your ex, just begin to think about other things. It doesn't mean the thoughts are going to stop. And that's what they were sharing, you know, with this young lady. It doesn't mean that you can snap your fingers and all of a sudden the thoughts are going to stop. It just means that you only have so much audio traffic going on. You only have so much space. So as you begin to put extra thoughts about just your acceptance of this moment, your, your, um, amazement with your current situation, your um, genuine affection for your own life, it begins to crowd out the thoughts that you don't want to have. I'm telling you now, and Abraham Hicks definitely shared, if you try not to do it, you are going to do it. And actually, Scripture tells us the same thing. Uh, uh, Paul says, that which I don't want to do, I end up doing. And that which I want to do, I don't do. Because the obsession with your thoughts will take your life from you. May not take your physical body, but it'll certainly take your mind. It'll take over as the traffic director in your thoughts. And before you know it, it has totally encapsulated your everything. So today I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to simply get gentle with yourself regarding your past relationship. Get kind with yourself and begin to add beautiful, amazing thoughts. And before we know it, those obsessive thoughts about our exes will be gone. Okay, so just an encouragement for your day. I love you so much. I hope the rest of your day is extravagant and I love you word. <laughs>